Hello Capricorn, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'll be using the deck of the Qatars, written with a C and an S at the end. Also look for the H if you want to know about the story of the Qatars. What I can tell is that they are the first people who lived in medieval times, who have a religion. They believed they lived in the Matrix. They just called it the Shadow World. That's about all I'm going to say about that. Definitely look up the story of the Qatars. It is a very interesting and still a a um, active uh, aspect about life today. So let me shuffle a little bit more. I'm going to pull five cards. One concerning the problem and the surrounding cards. Two being neg negative aspects, two being positive aspects. So I'm going to measure twice, cut once. This is the problem. These are the negative aspects and these are the positive aspects. So let's see what the problem is. And we have the fool or the bonhomme within this card. The bonhomme is the fool. So it also all those who have pure intentions will prosper. So every goal of, of the Qatar was to be as in heaven, as in earth, to be recognized as a bonhomme or a good man, uh, even though they their unforced uh, pose to the female have the Qatar the Qatars have no good word for good female, so that's why bonhomme is used and points to both sexes. So within this card, who is a problem? Uh, it's about um, worrisome, wor worryless traveling, foolish wisdom, um, purity, innocence, unpredictability, curiosity, excessiveness, spiritual, and you're a seeker. So it points, the problem is that you might be seeking you might be going through diversions, mistakes, uncaringness, foolishness or recklessness that might be happening into your life and the negative aspects concerning it. We have the world in the reverse, the consolamentum. Let's look it up fast, this card. So the world card is uh, cunningness is a discipline which each seeker comes eye in eye with. So you might have a negative aspect about your abilities, might point to inertia, stagnation, loss of insight, failure um, and slow down completion. But it's in the reverse within the negative aspect. So it might point to completion, reward, renewal, universal truth and other things like accomplishments and success, big change and uh, liberation. So the five of shields, which is, which is the five of wands within this reading, let's get to it, is pointing towards uh, his good outer appearance and is in coherence with the danger of over courage over courage and distortion of the communication a less success can lead to so there might be some miscommunication about um, making this new start and uh, the world card might be pointing that there's something in the way of your success this card is in the upside down in the negative aspect of the reading, so it might point to abundance, riches, luxury, exalted pride and competitiveness and rivalry. It might also point to conflict within the dark aspect, pro pro proceeding within uh, law, uh, quarreling, words, um, competitiveness, torture and uh, contradictions although this card might look that it's good on the outside there's also a danger within so whatever the worldly possessions you give away um, 
You might associate them with power, the ones you give away, and giving them away says about how much you hide of your weakness, or maybe not. So maybe there is a consciousness or an awareness of the problem they might they might be the consequences of having worldly possessions. So you are starting anew, going the spiritual path and maybe giving up some clutter in your house. And within the positive aspect, we have the Emperor Raymond de Transival in this card and the Knight of Shields, which is the Knight of Pentacles, of no, of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is an adventurer, somebody who's usually the center of attention, who likes that, the excitement, and takes fast decisions. So you might be making a, a lot of progress fast here with this card. It might also point to divorce, leaving, taking a flight, making a distant travel, abandonment of some people and going into the unknown and with the Emperor or Raymond de Transevel, let's read a little bit about it to conclude this reading which is the Emperor within the positive aspect is definitely a strong person within your midst or within your within your uh, entourage so this card is representing stability, authority, um, fathership, intellect, forward moving, solidarity. It was in the reverse though. So was the adventurer here or the Knight of Shields. This card might point to male authority, presentation, conviction. When it was in the positive aspect, it might be you resolving your instability. You might be a little be a little bit authoritative about the way you're going in your new way and make a misuse of your power be a bit stubborn so i guess capricorn that helped a little bit for this reading and i thank you for watching and maybe to a next time and and i hope you have a good weekend see ya